Yesterday, I did not pick my camera up at all and vlog. I came on my cycle and I was down, down, down. I mean, whew, yesterday was trying to take me out. But today, I feel about 70% better. Um, and yeah. I'm alright, I'm, I'm, I'm good now. But I'm, I'm in the bed, like I went and got my coffee, but I came back in the house. I had to take me some allergy medicine because the pollen is through the roof. Um, I, I've been doing pretty good when I'm taking my Zyrtec, though. Like, I haven't taken it, you know, for a minute. I was taking it every day for a little while when I had to, but I slowed up on taking it, so... But today, I had to take one because um, I was sneezing and stuff when I was outside. And, yeah. So, I'm not really sure what's going to pop off today. But, you know, I don't feel like doing nothing. But that's not going to happen. I'm going to do something even if I leave out to go to the store. Because I do, I do have to go to Costco's and get some stuff, um, some food. Um, my chicken wings that I like to get from I like to get a bag of chicken from Costco's because you get a nice size bag for like $22 something like that 22 or 24 something like that anyway so I want to get some chicken what else was I going to get a few other things but anyway we'll see when we get there what I'm going to get and um because I'm probably taking y'all with me and um I don't know. Just sitting here trying to just relax and collect myself because I was up in the middle of the night um, and my stomach was like, girl, it was doing all kinds of knots and twists and all of that. So I had to get up and get me a heating pad. I stayed up until about like, I don't know three i fell asleep around nine because i was gone like i was like i just went out and then i woke back up around 10 something 10 40 then i think i might have tried to fall back to sleep for a few minutes and then i wound up getting back up again around like mm, 11 something or so uh closer to 12 o'clock and I stayed, I couldn't go back to sleep. I was trying, but I couldn't go back to sleep. So I knew I was gonna be a little tight. And that's when I had to get the, the high heating pad and all that and trying to get my stomach to calm down. <laughs> Took me some more medicine and, um, and yeah, so thank goodness I don't have to work today. I was, I did work yesterday, so I got through today. And um, that's probably why I, I, you know, came down so hard after um, I got home because I was able to like really relax and take my clothes off and unwind. So, you know, I was comfortable. So my body was just like, go ahead and just sprawl all over the place. I was, my energy was gone, gone. But um, no work today. So, yeah. And um, what else? So yesterday I was listening to, um, it was something on YouTube. It was a Joe Dispenza about like um, how to become somebody else. I'm going to have to look it up. When I look it up, I'll be able to maybe put it in this part. Remember Trisha. Trisha, remember to do that. You is your spouse because of your past experiences together. You hear barking outside your door and you know it's your dog wanting to go out. There's a pain in your back and you remember it's the same pain you felt yesterday. You associate your outer familiar world with who you think you are by remembering yourself in this dimension. 
this particular time and space. What do most of us do each morning after we've been plugged into our reality by these sensory reminders of who we are, where we are, and so forth? Well, we remain plugged into this past self by following a highly routine, unconscious set of automatic behaviors. Um, and I also was watching, well, so that was, that's a 10 hour video. Let me say that. It's a book, it's a book somebody read, it's an audio book. I was checking that out yesterday. I didn't finish it. Um, I need to go back and actually review or listen to what I already listened to as well. So that's like one of them things that I will keep like going over it because I might, you know, miss something or whatever. You always tend to, whether or not you're reading a book or you listen to an audio, I feel like people tend to do it more than one time. So I need to do that. And then I also was checking out, so I had already came across the video about Terrence Howard talking about the neutrons and all the things about how the body work and, you know, the ladder and everything and about just how the body, you know, being able to... Uh, you know what I'm saying. I'm going to have to put a clip of that in there too. But I watched a guy video yesterday. And he talked about Terrence Howard. And he also put two other people. Doctors I believe. In the video. That was sharing some information. About the same type of. Information that Terrence Howard was giving away. Maybe even a little bit more different. But just it, it all like you know puzzled together. Terence Howard is explaining, we need to explore the concepts of the visual and audible spectrums, as well as how sound and light waves relate to each other in terms of frequency. The visual spectrum is part of the electromagnetic spectrum and is visible to the human eye. It ranges from violet, with shorter wavelengths to red with longer wavelengths. Each color in the visual spectrum corresponds to a specific wavelength of light. For example, violet light has a wavelength of about 400 nanometers and red light has a wavelength of about 700 nanometers. The audible spectrum refers to the range of sound frequencies that the human ear can hear, typically from about 20 hertz, very low pitched sounds, to 20,000 hertz, very high pitched sounds. Each frequency within this range corresponds to a different pitch of sound. If you have a sound and you want to find out what color it corresponds to, you increase the frequency of the sound by doubling it repeatedly until it reaches a frequency within the range of the visual spectrum. This process doesn't literally turn sound into light, but uses the concept of frequency doubling to theoretically align a sound's frequency with the frequency of light or color. If you start with a sound frequency of 440 hertz, a standard A note, and it is just amazing how much information is out here. Um, some information can be, you know, trash, and then some information can, very, can be valuable, really. Um, but I just was just amazed about how, like, the body is really amazing. And the world is, you know, it is too. I mean, you know, we it's a lot of things that's going on, you know, whether or not we want to call it good or bad, but it's just a lot going on. And it's just interesting to me. Like, it's very interesting. But yeah, if y'all haven't checked that out, either one of those two things that I was talking about, y'all should check it out. I'm hoping that I can either link, put a link to both of those, or even maybe like put a screenshot or title of it so you can like look it up yourself and check it out and see you know but um it was it was it was good it was good information it was good information um and i need to go back and look at some more of it um but yeah um i would really like to take the table that i have in the living room that's sitting against my window out there and bring it in my bedroom so I can take my jewelry and everything that I have on the floor under my TV and put that on it temporarily until I get another table or the, the what I, whatever I want, like whatever table I choose to put under there. That can be my temporary fix um, to put that up and... Um, yeah, so I might do that today. I would like to do that today. 
but we gonna see. We gonna see. So, all right, y'all. I ain't gonna talk too much. Don't talk about my hair. I mean, it's in a ponytail, but I don't know what's going on with it right now. I had a hat on, but I took it off. And when I came back in the house, and my ponytail all kinds of lumpy back there, but don't judge me. But all right, I love you, and I will talk to you in the next clip. Smooches. See that? That's that. Okay. That's the screen. Mm. Oh, it's a different price. Like, it's a gaming monitor. Say what? Curb gaming monitor. Mm. I don't want to see it. Twenty-four ninety-nine. Please place the last scan. Please continue scanning. Are you recording? Please scan your membership card. Yeah, twenty-two ninety-eight. Four ninety-nine. Please continue scanning. 13, 99. Please place these continue scanning. 3, 99. I went to Giants after I went to Costco and they didn't record me and I didn't record me in Giants. Um, but yeah, I got some trials. I got some of this. I think I showed you that. And I got these grapes. Strawberries. Shrimp. Cheese. My bag I got some bagels because I'm about to make me some bagels. A bagel for the, my first meal of the day. Another bagel. Eggs. Butter. Lemons. Hamburger. Buns. I'm planning on making some hamburgers for dinner. Hamburgers for dinner. Ground turkey. This is a big bag of chicken, like party wings that I get from Costco for twenty-four dollars. And salmon.
part. Nothing about that aesthetic. Cut it. Cut. table in the living room in my bedroom under my TV I moved my little jewelry and stuff from already right here and we get ready to get it started had a little lopsided yeah all right Love me, feel so numb Ride me till I'm about to come I see you are about to climb Act so, oh girl, don't be shy Is you ready? Is you ready, baby? You seem ready You seem ready, baby Girl, to now I won't be so bad it is all for you Girl, my bad, I just can't help it Girl, you taste so good Loving, feel so numb Grab me till I'm about to come I see you are about to claim Act so, oh girl, don't be shy Hey, shot is what I'm here for, I'm ready when you downtown, when I'm around town, I'm ready Girl, just let me know what's Girl, just let me know what's 
show it's a drag show um i don't know if it's a brunch too but yeah um i'm getting myself together just so i can take my time it's it's 8 47 now so um yeah i'm gonna get myself together and um yeah of course i'm not bringing my camera um i will record on my phone but yeah i just wanted to hop in say hello say good morning and just roll the footage, just roll the footage. Who, who is this? Who is she? So this is the hair I'm gonna rock today. The wig, tell me what you think. Um, I, you seen me cut this wig. I was nervous about cutting it. It ain't the, uh, you know, I ain't go to cosmetology school, not for, uh, hair anyway. I went for nails. Um, it, this came up like it's like leaning. But anyway, so I am wearing, I chopped it up and then I actually dyed it. I don't know if I recorded the dyeing part, but it was already blonde. The origin, it was originally blonde, but then I had dyed it pink. And I ain't never wear it outside pink. I don't know why I was trying something different, but then I decided I wanted it to come back blonde again or platinum, whatever you want to call it. And um, it's actually lighter than what it was. It's more like an ice y platinum, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if it's coming off on camera, the color of it or whatever. But so this is what I I did. It's cute to be looking like it got cut in the basement. <laughs> But anyway, I don't want to wear lashes because you could barely even see my eyes and I don't want to be struggling with that. And plus I plan on wearing shades. 
So, and yes, I did my makeup. Nothing spectacular. I tried doing the bathroom, but I'm still adjusting these. This lighting, so it's really yellow. When you when I'm under a yellow light, it's really really yellow. So it would look crazy in the bathroom. So I I'm probably gonna put some mascara on because yeah, the lashes no, because it's too much hair and then the shades. Yeah, I mean I'm not against wearing my lashes with shades on, but I don't feel like being bothered for real. But this covers the bang covers my eyes anyway. So a little bit of mascara and yeah. So let me get finished getting dressed. <laughs> so this shirt right here I got from Marshalls in the men's section. And I'm trying to debate if I want to wear a bra with this. Because I'm tying it up. But I don't know if I want to wear a bra. Accessories I'm gonna wear. I'm not really sure. I bought this um this nugget this nugget um bracelet from TJ Maxx, honey. And I like to put. I've been always like I've been always the one that wore gold and silver. It don't matter to me. I wear both. You know both colors that's what you want to say so I think I might want to wear this on my arm on this side I'm gonna have to get Kamari to um, put that on me and then I'm probably gonna wear my JBW watch let's see I probably need to change the time on this thing because it ain't looking like that time is right. Let me change this real quick. So it was a, it was a little off, not nothing major. Now my time is click clocking, click clacking, right? So, and I'm trying to figure out what kind of earrings I want to wear. I don't feel like I want to wear no. I don't know. Let's see. I could wear these, but I feel like I don't know. I feel like it's still a little bit too much. I wanted something a little, a little more subtle. I'm getting ready to um get ready to put this some lip gloss on because my lips with this makeup on with no lip gloss on is looking ashy. So I finally got me some this lip gloss. I don't know if that you can see that good, but anyway, the Dior lip gloss that everybody. Please let this look cute. I don't know if this is. I'm normally seeing the bottles looking fatter. Did I get the wrong one? It's cool, I guess. 
is one of the newer ones I guess yeah that I ordered but it's cute got a little minty taste I mean not taste but you know feel but anyway so it's either was gonna be these and I still don't really know about those but then I could do these I think these would be cute and a little bit more because my hair and this shirt is doing a lot already so let's see and I feel like wearing some statement earrings is fine but just a little bit more toned down I mean the hair is already doing a lot black ones I think the black and gold is probably a hit I mean he's cute but no I'm not feeling that my makeup seems was I need some kind of mist on my face all right I think black ones. all right so I'm gonna get finished getting ready all right y'all this is it. Makeup on, hair on. I had to put some hair pins in my um on my wig to pin my wig down. I had it on. I'm like, I ain't even put no hair pins in. You know, not that. Is it like I, I got one of them little clamp pieces that go on the back to you know make it a little tighter? But I still like to put a little bit of hair pins in for just you know more security. I don't need my wig flying off when I'm outside. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's a little. Got a little wind gust, but I, I feel like it would have been secure, but I do it anyway. So, I got all my things on, bracelet on, rain on, rain on, bracelets on. You can barely even see this one. This nugget one is drowning this bracelet out, but still going to wear it. And I was going to wear these. These are the glasses that I had got, I showed y'all when I got from the flea market. I was going to wear these right and I think they look good I think they look fly however I want to leave my shades on and I don't know how dark the place is so if it's too dark I may have to take my shades off so I'm not sure if I want to you know wear these the other option would be other option would be these I gotta wipe these frames off a little bit better the other option is these now granted I know I know that the other ones probably hit different than these but um, I can keep these on I can see in the light and the dark all of that with these on so which ones y'all think I should wear? These. Or these. Kamari said these mean business. And I was like, money business? Because that's the only business I'm trying to do. You feel me? <laughs> but, yeah. So, I don't know. I'll figure it out. I forget to tell you I'm finally wearing these yeah these are the shoes I'm wearing they flat but they cute and they go with the aesthetics super well oh oh and my pocketbook I'm carrying this for my bag I gotta put my stuff in here, but yes, I'm carrying this in my bag. And it's a look. 
for me to be having some flat shoes on and all that. You know what I'm saying? I'm still outside. I mean, not that outside is, you know, something to brag about, but I'm going outside. Anyway, I see y'all. I see y'all later because I got to hurry up because we got, I, I need to be leaving out the door in two minutes because we're meeting up at 10. So, love y'all. Loving, feel so numb Drive me till I'm about to come I see you are about to cry Act so, oh girl, don't be shy Is you ready? Is you ready, baby? You seem ready You seem ready, baby Girl, to know I won't be selfish it is all for you Girl, my bad, I just can't help it Girl, you taste so good Loving, feel so numb Drive me till I'm about to come I see you are about to claim Act so, oh girl, don't be shy Hey, shot is what I'm here for, I'm ready when you downtown, when I'm around town, I'm ready Girl, just let me know what's good Girl, just let me know what's good Girl, just let me know They won't know Okay.